part of any good construction project is making sure that your house doesn't move on your foundation. And specifically, make sure your foundation doesn't move with respect to the land. Now here, we're sitting at the Santorini Passive House, and this is a steep lot. Now normally in a project like this, you have two options. You either can do what's called a pier and gray beam foundation, which is mean you make a big bunch of holes that are drilled into the ground and they go so deep that they hit the existing bedrock or they hit enough solid material that the house doesn't move. And then you connect all of those piers with a beam, a structural beam, often three feet tall and two feet wide that connects that whole thing and then you build your house on top. An alternate choice is to build into the hillside where you have enough rock that you can actually set the house down inside the ground but on the rock. In the Bay Area, it's really hard for us to do that for main reason in that most of the soil in the Bay Area is highly expansive clay. And that means that that clay, when it gets wet, it expands. And then when it dries, it shrinks. So we almost never put a house directly into the rock because any soil around the house will expand and contract with the water, causing our houses to move. So pier and gray beams is really what it's all about here. Now, we're not actually doing an addition on this house, but we are changing the way the house is structured on the land. And we have new loads going onto parts of the foundation that didn't have loads before. So we have to put new piers in. So they're drilling holes behind me with a giant auger. Now what you see is about a six or eight foot tall auger, and then you see about six feet on top of that. But that pier actually has to go about twice that deep, which means that they're gonna have to go in and out of that hole and pull all that dirt out, as you can see in the overlay video, over and over and over again, until they get that pier deep enough to get into solid rock. And then they can make sure that the house won't move and that the new load on the foundation will sit on a solid foundation. Now, as you can see in the overlay video, we have these rebar cages and those rebar cages are made off site and then shipped here. Those rebar cages will go down into the holes that these guys are drilling. They'll fill them with concrete and they'll have a bunch of rebar that comes out of the top and goes into the existing foundation. This is a great way to add space onto a house or to reinforce a house without making a whole new foundation. This is better building science and it's using less material because you're using the existing foundation adding only the strength that you need and getting a much better product. If you're interested in learning more about building science or about building a better way, please hit subscribe as we show you how to build a better way.